Medical history has been taught in school science, doctors, and life-saving advances, but that's not how it happened. Historically, medicine has done more harm than good beginning with the ancient Greeks and continuing until Lincoln's time. 2,500 years ago, Greek physicians were as competent as, and certainly less destructive than, doctor-slash-astrologers in the Middle Ages, pompous windbags in the Renaissance, or worst of all, the medical wrecking balls of medicine's heroic age not so long ago. The medical field regained its stride in the 20th century, too late for most. Number 10. Milk Transfusions. The White Blood Cells Myth. Let's start with a practice that might raise an eyebrow. The idea of milk transfusions as a blood substitute circulated in the late 19th century. According to believers, white blood cells could be created by milk's fatty properties. Some instances of this procedure seemed successful, while others had deadly consequences. Patients were revived with a mixture of morphine and whiskey after a milk injection caused a drop in their pulse. After the surgery, the patient only survived for 10 days. Number 9. Soothing Syrup a baby calmer with a dark secret. We will now look at Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup, a remedy that seems innocuous at first glance. In addition to being marketed as a solution for baby problems, this elixir contained an alarming amount of alcohol and morphine. Despite being marketed as a harmless concoction, it was far from it. Due to their dangerous ingredients, these syrups were later dubbed baby killers. This advice seems obvious now. Do not use these preparations if you value your child's health and life. Number 8. Xenotransplantation, Monkey Glands, and Miraculous Vigor We come across a rather ambitious endeavor at number 8. Xenotransplantation. A chimpanzee interstitial gland was transplanted into an elderly man to restore his vitality by Dr. Serge Voronoff. According to this theory, vital glands cannot be transferred between humans, so monkeys seemed the next best option. Despite being initially hailed as revolutionary, this procedure proved ineffective. Number 7. The Whale Hotel. An unusual rheumatoid arthritis cure. Expect to be astounded by the peculiar treatment that earned it a spot at number 7. There was an unusual remedy for rheumatoid arthritis offered by an Australian whale hotel in 1899. It was customary to row patients to the carcass of a whale that had died nearby. Afterward, the whale was sliced open, creating a narrow cavity. The practice claimed to ease inflammation and discomfort by letting patients lie inside for about two hours. An individual who stumbled upon a decomposing whale while tipsy discovered this treatment. Number 6. Cats and Clavier – The Bizarre Cat Organ the Katzenklavier, or cat organ, was a rather strange concept that fortunately never materialized. Imagine a row of cats with their tails extended, placed underneath a keyboard decked out in sharpened nails. The pins would contact the feline seats by striking the keys, producing sounds. Witnessing the cat's expressions and movements was theorized to have a profound therapeutic effect. Although we shudder at the idea, it shows how creative and bewildering past notions were. Number 5. Smoke Enemas Cholera, Cure Gone Wrong Taking a look at smoke enemas is next. Many believed that tobacco smoke could serve as an alternative to opium as a remedy for cholera. A version of the procedure involved administering boiling water infused with tobacco into the intestines. It was believed that this practice saved many lives from cholera because it had been widely endorsed. Ironically, however, tobacco smoke enemas have questionable efficacy and pose health risks. Number 4. Cigarettes as an Asthma Cure – A Counterintuitive Solution we find an incredible medical recommendation at number four, advertising cigarettes as a cure for asthma. Yes, you heard that right. Some considered cigarettes a remedy for asthma despite their adverse health effects. Smoking harms respiratory health today, as we know all too well. This is a poignant reminder of how medical understanding has evolved over time. Number three, radon therapy, the radioactive cancer cure. In number three, we explore a practice that involves something genuinely unique, radon therapy. Cancer was once thought to be cured by radon gas, a natural radioactive element in the Earth. It was initially believed that radon's radioactivity would destroy cancer cells. Nonetheless, as scientific understanding progressed, it became apparent that radon therapy posed severe health risks and was ineffective. 
Despite its intended use, a treatment designed to heal can actually harm. Number 2. Trepanation. Ancient skull drilling. Our second discovery relates to a practice that spans millennia. Trepanation. The possibility of boring holes into the skull should be considered a legitimate medical procedure. Its origins are unknown, but there is evidence that it dates back to 7000 BC. Despite its unclear purpose, trepanation was used to treat headaches, epilepsy, and mental disorders. As evidenced by ancient skulls with carefully carved holes, people went to great lengths to find relief. Number 1. Leech Therapy – Blood Sucking for Health Let's move on to the pinnacle of historical medical oddities, leech therapy. Imagine working as a medical assistant with leeches. Physicians of the time embraced the doctrine of humors, believing that imbalances in bodily fluids caused illness. With their blood-draining abilities, leeches were seen as the solution to restoring equilibrium. They treated everything from headaches to fevers and even mental disorders. In the 19th century, leeches were even applied to treat various gynecological issues, reflecting the pervasive influence of this practice. The digestive enzymes in leech saliva contain beneficial compounds that could aid blood circulation and reduce inflammation, contributing to the perceived healing effect. And with that, we've journeyed through the most bewildering pages of medical history, uncovering practices that challenge our understanding. As we reflect on these peculiar remedies, let's appreciate how far we've come in medicine. Stay tuned for more intriguing explorations. And until then, keep your curiosity alive and your skepticism sharp.